Who made the rules? Who pay the price? The compromise, the sacrifice. Those little voices outside your door make you feel scared and so unsure. Who'll go the distance? Who'll take the blame? The inconsistent live with the shame. Is it all or nothing, or just a choice? My name is Jill Knight. I moved to San Francisco in 1984 to escape the South. I was raised Southern Baptist in Savannah, Georgia. Never came out to my family because uh, they would have freaked out. So they pretty much found out. It was terrible. I thought my girlfriend um, at the time had a brain tumor and she died. And so my family didn't understand. And my mom always thought this was God's way of, of showing me that I was doing wrong by taking her away. So it really messed me up. My relationship with my mother was very, uh, very tight because of it for years. And she honestly believed that, yeah, God was punishing me and punishing my girlfriend by killing her. You know, you're gay, we're going to give you a brain tumor and kill you and show the world. So I um, got to San Francisco and uh, it's changed my life to be in such a beautiful environment where everything is more accepting and more, everyone is more accepted. Found the Glide Memorial Church church and was able to uh, get, you know, back in touch with my uh, my own relationship with God through Cecil Williams and going someplace that didn't judge me for who I was, like, you know, my family did for so long. I went there and I just cried. I finally felt like I had come home, like, wow, here's a place where I can believe in God without being judged and, and to totally be accepted for who I am. I still go back to Georgia, you know, three times a year to visit my family, and they've come a long way, and I think that they realize that I haven't changed. I'm still the same person on the inside, and it's caused them to understand that, you know, we're all different, but we're all loved by God, and if this wasn't meant to be, then why are we created this way, or why is it even, why, did, why does it even happen? You know, if there's only going to be a select few that go to heaven, how boring would that be? I never wanted to go to church. Uh, I didn't agree with any of the philosophies of the, the Southern Baptist Church that I was growing up in. It all felt very, uh, very judgmental, hypocritical. There's a lot of other people out there that feel like that. Oh my God! Yeah, you could you could go to Glide and just listen to the testimonials on Sunday morning, uh, where people had been lost for so long. So yeah, I think there's a ton of us out there that felt like they had to remove themselves from any kind of religion because it was not comfortable anymore. It's just nice to have a place like Glide and where you don't feel judged. You can believe in God and not feel like you're going to go to hell because of who you choose to love in your life. That's what happens, you know, the religion comes in, all these different denominations, and they've got all these different viewpoints and rules, and the Baptists don't like the Catholics, and the Catholics don't like the Methodists, and all that, and it's like a, it's so juvenile, it reminds me of high school, you know, like cliques, little cliques, when the whole meaning of God, and God is love, which is like, the, first thing that's said in the Bible, and that's what it's all about. It's just, we're all here, everybody's different, well, we're all here to learn how to love unconditionally. And that's what I think it's all about.
Compromise the sacrifice Those little voices outside your door Make you feel scared and so unsure 